about the contrast. Think about the sharp contrast between Cruz and Fiorina and Clinton and Trump. Now, why do I put them together? Clinton and Trump. Because they're two sides of the same coin, Sean. They're two sides of the same coin. And I'm sorry, it is not a choice or a contrast when Donald Trump agrees with Hillary Clinton on so many positions. Yeah, he's okay with the Iranian nuclear deal. Yeah, he's okay with the Iranian nuclear deal. The saddest part of that deal is so much of this money is already gone. Just got $150 billion right out the tube. And what do we get? We got nothing. We got nothing. They got the money and the prisoners should have been released years ago before we started negotiating. Years ago. We got nothing. They say if any of it's a lie, then it's all a lie. Equating Donald Trump to Hillary Clinton by saying both of them are for the Iran deal is not only a lie, it's a desperate lie. They're practicing deception in the open. And no one in the mainstream media has picked up on it for some reason. Nobody. Nobody wants to talk to you about the lies. Instead, they rebroadcast that shit to propagate the lie. And the worst part of this charade isn't their deception, it's the venue where this is taking place. Pay attention to the details, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone notice the huge pentagrams on either side of this stage? Anyone notice that this venue is a huge red Masonic temple? Imagine who sits in these seats when they're not faking the news. This is an occult temple, and they're sitting at the altar where they do eyes wide shut types of ceremonies late at night. Have no doubt about that. That's what this venue is for. The colors red and black have long been synonymous with occultism. And just by chance, these are the colors that Miss Fiorina is wearing here. Red and black. This isn't by chance. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to the way the flag is positioned behind her. This is Pentagram Max. Did you know that Miss Fiorina used to be the boss at Lucent Technologies? Lucent stands for Lucifer Enterprises, whose headquarters used to be at 6 Bitch Bitch 5th Avenue, New York. These are fucking cult members pretending to be Christians. They're apostates, they're infiltrators, they're militant atheist insurgents, and they're part of the evil system that we call the New World Order that's running our country. Shame on the mainstream media for not picking up on this. But then again, you wouldn't expect them to because they're part of that sadistic system that rules over you. And it's why the networks bring you shows like Lucifer and Damien and Six Bitch Bitch Park Avenue. It's why they cover black masses it's why they cover up 9-11. It's why they promote biohacking and posthumanism. It's why they ban prayers in school. It's why they promote two men plowing each other. And it's why they feed you full of GMOs. Chemtrailing the population is no big deal for cult members. And when they come on TV, they sell you big fat lies and call themselves Christians. And it's why nothing will ever change in this country. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.